that was uh, Father Morgana or Mirage, whichever you prefer. And it's a boat ride, just like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, only with uh, with the Arabian Nights. But it's still it's still a fun one. It's, it's an older ride. And now we're uh, what are we doing? We're heading to uh, Symbolica. Uh, new ride. It's been uh, tweaked a bit since the last time we were here, so and we still haven't done one of the tours you can do. So we're doing it now. So we're facing the longest line uh, of all day, 40 minutes. But we got ourselves some nice hot coffee and some hot cocoa for on the way. I just got walked into, spilled my coffee a bit. But we'll be fine. We'll survive. And this is a symbolic castle, which is uh, actually now the center piece of the park. What? Blue sky. St St <laughs> we spotted some blue sky. <laughs> it's been cloudy and misty all day, and now the sky is breaking. The clouds are breaking up. So we're on our way to meet the king. It said 40 minutes. I'm not sure this is 40 minutes, this is less. Hi! Oh, good. Oh, good. Want a hot drink? <laughs> so we're almost there. Hebben we gecheckt hoe lang we gestaan hebben of niet? We hebben daar niet helemaal niet bij, dus we hebben geen timer. <laughs> we hebben een timer, maar we hebben niet gestart. Wat was het de pre-show? So we'll meet you at the rule reading. Het veranderen zo steeds. Dit was logischer. Transito, culto, fabulu, trage treden, open u! Ha 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 ha! 
What's happening? What's happening with this stars? No, 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 no.
It was symbolic, huh? and they tweaked it. And I actually believe this is this is for the best. This is better this way. There were like three or four interactive uh, sections in the ride, and three of those four were completely incomprehensible. And they removed the one in the ballroom, and now you're just dancing, so that's better. And they changed the one in uh, uh, the key room, uh, where you used to, you, you needed to, to um, press the proper thing to go on and make the key appear. And they changed that to just one session of colors, so you don't have to match up the, the treasure chests, just get the color, which is better, so it's improved, a lot better. And after Symbolica, it's time to get, a, get something to eat, and we're going to look for some typical, typical theme park food, fries. And uh, not sure what to get with it. Maybe a burger, maybe something else. We'll see in just a moment. Almost forgot. <laughs> I went through the dish. But we decided on schnitzel and chicken nugget with fries. And it, it just came out of the oven, so out of the, it was just finished. So we just finished uh, finished our dinner. It was good. It was like like a schnitzel, and it had cauliflower and broccoli and some carrots. So it was uh, was good and healthy, and we had fries. And now uh, the sun is starting to set. And we're going to end our day in the fairy tale forest, which is also uh, it's just the first thing that uh, that they built it was how the Esseling got started before they had a bride. This is the Dutch version of the Sleeping Beauty Castle. Not pink, not fairy tale like, just like a real, real castle actually. But we have to climb up to get there, so we're not doing that again. Sorry, sorry for the low frequency LEDs, LEDs. And the little gnome village is also covered in snow. How cute is that? And the refurbishment. So there's this one, little gnome that's playing. And he used to play the song that's heard out throughout the, the fairy tale forest coming from these toadstools. But now he's just randomly playing four bells, I guess. <laughs> Did you know that? That he's playing just four bells? <laughs> Sue's got new gloves. She's happy with them. <laughs> They're her uh, fingertipless gloves that have a flap that turns them into mittens. No comment at all. Little Red Riding Hood. 
There's the big bed wolf. Lying in grandma's bed. It was as if he wrote a copy of iets wilde waarschuwen. Ja, there was wel reden voor, want the grote boze wolf. And all these fairy tales, all uh, fairy tales are, are being told by several pretty famous Dutch actors, I guess. Classic actors. You'll find these toads too whole throughout the fairy tale forest. This one. Pinocchio is new since last year, this year, last year. Last year. And there's the the whale, which looks more like a <laughs> giant goldfish. <laughs> Can we see? Them? There they are in the back of his throat. I guess you'll predict my future now. So that was our future. If you're wondering what language it was, we don't know either. It wasn't Dutch. But what you do is just uh, select your uh, your sign, and then he'll uh, make the ground the ground shake. That was the. <laughs> the big humming sound you heard. Rapunzel! So what she's just been telling is that the prince fell down the tower and because of the fall he turned blind and years later <laughs> Rapunzel found the prince, saw that he was blind, had to cry and her tears of joy fell into his eyes and he could see again. So. That's like the really, 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 really short version. Little Mermaid. I've said this before in our uh, previous Dutch vlogs, but this dragon, when I was a little kid, it terrified me. 
I have no idea why. But I, I, it scared me. It, it really, really scared me. Maybe. Couldn't come close. Yeah. This is gonna steal the treasure. And he doesn't care. You broke it. Again. There you go. And I think it might be the sound that scared me. But when I was like four or five. I used to ram past it. <laughs> its name in in uh, in Dutch, literally translated to English, would be dragon. Very touchy. <laughs> oh look, mama goat. This is one other thing that scared me. Because when you come here to this nice... What? When you get to the little nice cottage where the goats are having a carrot cake, I guess. They were playing a game. But now they're having a carrot cake. But <laughs> one of the goats is still uh, having a dye uh, cup. But what scared me the most was that these guys are playing a game or having a carrot cake. But when you come past the corner, there's the wolf. There he is. Lighten up. Lighten up. There he is. And up close and personal. I didn't like it. <laughs> I, I was, was a scared little kid. But I survived, but... Table be laid. Donkey lift your tail. But donkey gives coins. And this is the... Table be laid. Let's have a look. This little guy has a special table. And there's the food. Oh. And this is Herald Square. And this is special because Sus used to work here in the little trumpet. Which is a pastry shop. Dutch version of Rumpelstiltskin. Which I find hilarious. Because this little guy is, is singing in his own living room. What's his name? What his name is? Because we all do that, right? Singing in our living room, singing our name. Ik 
prepares a how to keep a hug. Imagine folk after the boat is up there. Maar met opgeheven hoofd sloot hij toen een kop van de buik. Here he comes. That was the Emperor's new clothes. The fairy tale tree. And in bed with her, the agents over her What a net! Kleine duimpje en roodkapje hebben uren aan die op zo'n vrolijke dag om de bekeken straat. Zo zie je maar anderen die je lang afkeren die je maar beter niet ziet. En dit is de andere, eh, dit is de andere store waar, eh, ze used to work. In den ouden marskramer. Just a little quaint. Souvenir shop. Onesies, dragon onesies. That's a dragon varsity jacket. Cinderella varsity jacket for the girls. The A is for. Uh, for the Dutch name, Aspoester. Mugs. Plates. Designs are, uh, are all hand, hand painted and then duplicated, of course. It's a very famous brand in Holland. It's called Blonde, right? Blonde Amsterdam, which is a specific childlike design. <laughs> all the while, <laughs> Dutch Christmas songs are playing. Sung by Aslan characters, I guess. So that was the final store uh, she's used to work. Old carousel with the pagod temple. Oh, and this one is new. This character is the fairy tale gatherer. And every branch he has with him represents one fairy tale or one story. Yeah. Yeah, he goes he's, he's basically a drifter that, that collects stories and fairy tales and tells them wherever he goes. It also has a, a television show connected to it. 
So uh, that concludes our day uh, at the Efteling. It was uh, it was not really busy. It was quite surprisingly quiet actually. But uh, but still, it was it was it was a nice day. It was not too crowded. Uh, we had lots of fun. So if you're ever uh, uh, in Europe or in the Netherlands or in the neighborhood, just be sure to visit the Efteling because it's it's a it's a classic park. It's been here for 65 years, 66 actually uh, next year. So be sure to check it out because it's a really nice uh, nice cozy park. We're going uh, we're going home now. So we'll see you in the next uh, in the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your like. Thanks for your subscribe. Uh, if you like, please share. The more you share, the more we like it. So thank you very much, and see you next time. Bye. <laughs>